This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on their Computer Science 2 course, the Python version. I'm on level 6A, Patrol Buster. A. Defeat the Ogres. Your hero must survive. Clean code. You now have access to powerful if statements. Check the method section. Ooh, lingo. Uh, in the middle of the screen for extra info. If statements are a fundamental tool for programmers. Create them by typing enemy equals hero dot find nearest enemy. And so what this if statement does, like we've been talking about, it is checking if enemy exists. We make this hero, we make this variable named enemy. We then tell the hero, hey hero, look around. And if when you see an enemy, name them enemy, right? So hero, look around, name them enemy. The hero might look around and see nothing. So then the variable equals nothing. It won't be equal to an enemy. It says, well, hero looks around, finds nothing, enemy equals nothing. So that's why we're using an if statement here. This is asking the computer, if enemy, if enemy equals something, if enemy exists, then hero attack enemy. Okay, so it will only do something if the enemy exists. It's super useful in programming. Let's see here. Remember that enemies may not exist yet. If there is an enemy, attack it. Okay, so I think this is our wall true loop, right? And the indented means that all of this is inside the loop. So if is inside the loop. And then we indent more for if. Anything indented here is inside our if statement. So what are we supposed to do? We're going to attack. And then let's make sure to attack twice because you got to hit ogres twice. And I'm going to go ahead and just give this a shot. Oh, perfect. So this was the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going. 